Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to calculate uh, molar concentration. And I'm going to calculate molar concentration. So let's just write that down. So we're trying to figure out what is the molar concentration all right, of this barium chloride, which is mixed in the water. And I am going to use a method of using formulas. All right, because there's a couple formulas for calculating molar concentration. There are other ways to do it. You can use uh, dimensional analysis if you'd like, uh, or any other method. Um, but basically, I'm going to use formulas. So the, the corresponding formulas that I need to use to calculate molar concentration are C is equal to N over V, and N is the number of moles. V is the volume. And this is the number of moles of the solute. And this is the volume of the solvent. And this is the molar concentration. Okay, and I'm going to also use N is equal to lowercase m over uppercase m. So lowercase m is the mass in grams, and this is the molar mass, and that's in grams per mole, and this is the number of moles. All right, so I'm going to use these two formulas to figure out the answer to this question. What is the molar concentration? So I'm looking for C, and so I say to myself, all right, I got C is equal to N over V. And so that's what I'm trying to solve for. I'm trying to get C there. And so to get C, I need to know, well, what is N over here, this variable, and what is V, the volume? Well, if I look, I know my volume is 200 milliliters. So I get C is equal to N, we don't know, over 200 milliliters, and we have to be able to convert that a milla, and just remember here that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. And so if I move the decimal place over three places here, one, two, three, I'm gonna be able to figure out what that is in liters, so 0 0.200 liters. But I don't know N, so I need to basically figure out what N is first. And so if I go to this formula, this formula is telling me what N is equal to. So N is equal to mass, which is 2.0 grams over the molar mass. Now we need to know what barium chloride is. And in order to do that, you need to write out what is the chemical formula for barium chloride. Well, let's see. So we got barium and we have chlorine. And so if I look here, barium is located right here on my periodic table. Oops. And so barium is located right here on my periodic table, and chlorine is located over here. And so anything located in group 17 here, it has a negative one ionic charge, and anything located in group two has a plus two ionic charge. And so to balance those charges, we need to multiply the chlorine by two to give us a negative two, which will balance that positive two. So when I multiply my chlorine by two, I indicate that in my formula by putting BaCl2. And so what I gotta do here is I gotta find the molar mass of barium chloride. So the molar mass of barium chloride is, we go to our periodic table, we find barium. So barium, if you look at your periodic table, is 137.33 grams per mole. So we add up everything there on our periodic table. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video on finding molar mass. Um, okay, so we end up with 208.23 grams per mole there. And so I can do a calculation here and I get two divided by that. Okay, so two divided by 208. 0.23 is equal to, we had a scientific notation number here, 9.605 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. And that's scientific notation. That's fine. That just means we're moving the decimal place over three places. So if you wanted, if you feel more comfortable, move the decimal place over three and you get 0 0.00. 
nine six zero five because I've noticed one two three one two three perfect moles okay so either one of those is acceptable most likely you're gonna want to do the scientific notation okay so that's how many moles I found the number of moles and now I can insert that into into this part of the question here so I know my number of moles now I know n is going to be this value here and so you got to substitute that in and so I get 9.605 times 10 to the negative 3 moles and so I get that divided by 0.2 and I can run that calculation and I get 0 0.048 uh, moles per liter and so that's my final answer there all right and so notice I have two significant digits here and up here I have two so that's good all right so that's how you find molar concentration using formula so remember you gotta memorize this formula here C equals N over V and if you memorize this formula you'll be able to find any molar concentration question that's given to you.